A first emerging component of the urban transportation problem in cities of the third world is the problem of traffic congestion. Rapid increases in car ownership coupled with poor land use planning, inadequate road space, lack of regulated parking systems, uneducated use of road by pedestrians, and bad driving behavior of motorists have all combined to produce congestion comparable to those experienced in cities in the advanced part of the world. Traffic management measures have been tried in some of the major cities, such as road expansion and redistribution of land uses in city centers, but most have produced minimal results. So, I know you are wondering, where exactly are we? We are in Ghana, the greater Accra to be specific, and to narrow down further, this area is just next to Accra Mall, one of the best and the greatest mall here in the city. And also, we are just next to the airport. So I hope you got the bearing of the exact place and the exact way that we are in today. At the time of recording this video, it is in the evening, and as usual, this is the rush hour. People are moving from the city, maybe from work and other activities towards their homes. And here is the state of the highway. Ghana has been involving itself in major construction project to beat congestion in their roads and we are I'm going to show you if in case that was successful and that is the main aim of this video but before we do that please like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this i'm your host joy Liz, and this is your number one updating channel on construction projects vlogs travel and adventure and anything in between now Let's dive straight into the video. For decades, Accra's traffic has been a huge problem for the city's development. Long traffic jams in rush hours, road accidents, and poor travel condition for everyone that moves within Accra is a well-known issue in Ghana and a conversation topic for Accra's inhabitants. In recent times, however, the government of Ghana has embarked itself in a massive construction project. We have seen multi-million projects going on, both completed, ongoing and some that are still on the drawing board coming up and for all these things that are the government is trying to do is just to alleviate traffic the government has involved itself in the dualization of roads maintenance of existing ones and construction of new ones not to forget the construction of the railway stations like the tema to Mpakadan railway project all these are just to alleviate traffic on the Ghanaian road. But my question is, do you think the objective of the government will be achieved anytime sooner? Please watch the video to the end as we look for this answer. What I've observed so far, this other lane is moving, but the other one is literally stuck. So let's take for instance, you are in the office from morning to evening and you just so exhausted you want to hit the road and just get home and have some rest and then you reach on the traffic and staying there for another two or three hours just waiting for traffic to open up it is so hectic but sometimes in africa we always assume that we are used sitting in traffic because it has come like a normal day life but what we are failing to understand is the more time we use on the roads the more activities we fail to achieve in our lives so let's see how uh, the traffic is gonna be and how the state of the way I can see at least it has started moving for both sides but uh, not too fast yet so, Accra's traffic situation can seem to be desperate and hopeless however with the right initiatives that prioritize collective forms of transport above the use of private cars policies that are developed and implemented in cooperation with a functioning, well-adapted and existing private transport system, the trotros, and investment in the basic infrastructures for non-motorized form of travel, things can improve. Therefore, political decision makers have to step back from single big scale projects like the BRT system and instead focus on developing a more holistic approach, one that recognizes the diverse reasons for the status quo. 
So checking the both lanes here, I can see that this side is moving a little bit. Uh, the other side is still not so much moving, but at least they are making some uh, small steps here and there. Uh, what I'm really waiting for is to see the traffic open up and I've been recording for some time now I wanted to know how long can people just stay maybe on traffic okay yeah and also I'm looking forward to see it opening up because uh, I understand it's rush hour so uh, there must be congestion along the way but it should not take too much time because that is what the government is really working on to see that all the traffic on the motorways are elevated and you can see that some people are um, the passengers are walking using the pedestrian uh, walk and um, you know sometimes guys you can be stuck on traffic to an extent where you just alight from the throttles and then you just start walking home and you feel like maybe you'll even be faster than just sitting down but it always depend with the intensity of the traffic here but i can see uh, the movement is now better every uh, the both lanes are moving though the other lane is uh, moving but a little bit but this other one has opened up and that's just but a good news yeah i'm so much impressed guys to see the cars moving because uh, if you've ever been stuck on traffic then i'm very much sure that you understand the, the condition so if you are new please consider subscribing like and share my video more knowing that sharing is just caring and it helped me do more videos and also reach many people all together give this video a thumbs up after watching it to the end if you like it don't forget to click on the on the like button there and also subscribe if you are new i'm your girl joy liz and i'll be updating you on the conditions and the state of roads here in accra and any other place that i will be yeah so let's hope for the best that the other lane is also going to open up guys you can see now the motorists are very much happy because the this other lane has opened up guys yes and now it is moving yes i've been staying here for long just waiting to waiting to see how the traffic is gonna be but the condition is quite impressive at the end of the day yes guys i'm so much excited and thank you so much for watching this far i don't take anybody's chance for granted thank you so much in case you are new consider subscribing like and also share widely thank you so much we are coming to the end of this video and um, i hope we are going to meet again in our next episode which is coming up very very soon so guys take care of yourself be safe and don't ever stop exploring let's meet again in our next one bye